welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Dot Hack GU Last Recode. We're going to go and check our emails now. I did indeed have to play through. By the way, folks, if you're kind of trying to mimic, you know, play along with me or whatever, I didn't make it to the, technically the second save point, so I did have to replay through since the first time they sent me to the save guy, which I'm assuming you guys probably already figured. It does look like we'll probably be able to save here or maybe even in some setting at some point. But for now, we're going to the mail station. Doesn't look good. Mail data not found. Huh? What the hell? I would never delete these. They're all gone. Even the emails I got from Shino. Huh. Well, that's not great. Okay. Everything's been reformatted. So it looks like we will be starting from scratch. Well, that can't be great. What the hell is going on? You have one new email. An email? Fine. Let's take a look. All right. Ovan. Oh. Ovan? Okay. Okay, cool. There are two paths before you. One of these will lead to safety and shame. It is a path where you give up the world and never log in again. The other path leads to peril and pride. It is a path where you continue the world and resume your search for the truth. Let me be blunt, the latter path is torturous and will threaten both your mind and body. Once you have chosen it, there will be no turning back. If you still choose to walk this path, then there will come a time when you and I will meet again in the world. When that time comes, I will once again say this to you. Welcome to the world. Trial and truth. Huh. Fun times. Whether or not I should quit the world? You should know better, Ovan. I'm going to go back to the world. And then I'm going to get Shino back. Don't yeah. What? Shino. I guess that's important, probably. But I'm with you, man. I am with you. All right. Does that now mean I can do whatever I want? Can I go over here? Oh my god, I can save the game! Oh, it's so good! Alright, so there it is. The game has been uh, saved officially. I will no longer have to replay back through to all the stuff I just did. So we can return to the world. There's a mail station. There's news capture. Mine OS offers a creative and comfortable lifestyle for everyone. What's this? Oh, boy. That's really busy. Um... Free streaming. We'll investigate the hottest topics for you. Online Jack. Welcome to Online Jack, the no-holds-barred information program that brings you the hottest topics. Our star reporter, Salvador Ahara, will bring you all the dirt you want to know. And here, here's this week's Jack Target. Doll Syndrome. Okay, I have no idea what any of this means, but it's fine. Oh, oh okay. Doll syndrome is a mysterious illness that is secretly spreading among elementary school students. Our online Jack investigator will or investigators will lock on to Tachiro Sugai, the noted professor and author of Online Games are turning our children into dolls. The dangers of doll syndrome. Okay, everyone, let's call our Salvador Ihara. Huh. This is Salvador Ihara's Online Jack. We investigate the hottest controversies in today's news. The in-your-face, hard-hitting show. Welcome to Online Jack. Yeah. Okay, get ready, all you netizens out there. Netizens. Today's Jack yes. target is Doll Syndrome. Have you heard of it? It's the mystery illness that's spreading like wildfire among grade schoolers. It causes verbal and mental defects that leave victims non-responsive. That's right. This disease turns children into lifeless dolls. Oh, no. <laughs> But we'll fight back. To combat this earth-shattering crisis, we at Online Jack started an investigation. Cool. I, Salvador Ihara, will save the world! This guy. This guy. It's called Doll Syndrome, a truly mysterious illness. 
Some scientists tell us the cause is endocrine disrupting chemicals. But what I want to showcase here is this book. Internet what? games are turning our kids into dolls. A warning about doll syndrome. Taichiro Sugai, a professor from oh, Takeuma yeah. University, wrote totally the book right. and lives here. According to his book, doll syndrome's root cause is none other than online games. Online games, famous games such as the world, perhaps. I love them too, but he says that online games and their more than 12 million participants That's all it. living out their virtual dreams are the cause. You'll remember that several years ago, the world game was found to be responsible for players being put into a coma. Could it be huh. that it's also causing the dreaded doll syndrome? Are these online games nothing but a blight upon our society? If the professor feels that way, then let's see what he has to say. Let us begin the interview. Guy doesn't breathe much, does he? Jeez. I thought I rambled a lot. I like how it's 12 million. Now, that was probably astronomical when this what game you released. Want? You know how late it's it not is? so much now. Tachiro hey there, Sugai. I'm the host of Online Jack, Salvador Aihara. I have a few questions about your book, Online Games Are Turning Our Kids Into Dolls, A Warning About Doll Syndrome. <laughs> yes! Huh. Ah, can you believe this guy? He dropped his mic. Open up, Professor Sugai. We want to talk to you. Yeah, we do. You've just come to make fun of my book, haven't you? Get away from here. If you don't explain yourself on camera, sir, you'll make yourself look even more suspicious. I don't have to explain myself. All I did was publish the results of my own independent research. Ha, you say independent research. But isn't it true that your sources themselves are questionable? Not as questionable as you. <laughs> well, then prove to us that your sources are credible. If you do, we won't bother you anymore, Professor. Whoa. Give me a break. Who would believe you? And another thing, I'm an associate professor. Okay. Uh, this is weird. Well, we were turned down by associate professor Sugai, but to follow our own independent research, we went undercover into the very elementary school that Sugai was investigating. There's no way this sounds this badly. This is the elementary school where associate professor Sugai was conducting his study on doll syndrome. Is a killer disease stalking the children of this ordinary elementary school? Let's take a look. Huh. Hey there, boys and girls. There's no need to fear. Salvador Aihara is here. Who are you? We're in the middle of class. Oh, <laughs> what is this vision of loveliness that graces yes. our presence? Hello, Senorita. You and I can save the world together. Viva Salvador! Get out of here, you creep! Oh, that didn't end so good. Here we are in the teacher's lounge. I haven't been to one of these since the days when I used to peep under girls' skirts. Excuse me? If you want to film in here, you need to get permission first. But the whole purpose of the show is it's undercover. You entertainment people have no decency. You're True. so beautiful when you're angry. Stop that. What are you investigating? Doll syndrome. Miss Michiru Tajima, teacher of fourth grade class <gasps> one. Target, <laughs> what is this? That's so weird. That was so weird. Ah, uh, what did I just witness? I'm not even sure. R2 breaks the 12 million mark. CyberConnect Japan announces or announced today that its popular online game, The World R2, has sold 12 million copies worldwide. CC Corp's other products include The World, Fate Must Die, Person, and Kuru Kuru Michi. The World R2 is an online game set in a fantasy world where humans and beasts live together. Players become world-renowned adventurers and travel around killing monsters and discovering the world's secrets. As recently as a few years ago, shares in the world were at an all-time low due to the emergence of new developers. On top of that, the world was completely shut down after all data was lost in a disastrous fire at CC Corp headquarters. Amid the chaos and compensation issues that resulted from those events, CC Corp announced the sequel, The World R2. Most people deemed it a desperate plea for attention, and many uh, analysts declared that R2 would fail miserably. However, the figures shown today have proven that the world is as popular as ever. CC Corp seems confident. Watch us overcome the problems we encountered on our previous title. It seems everyone will be watching the world for some time to come. Cool, I guess. I don't I don't know. 
uh, other... Oh, oh boy. There is so many things that we can figure out. All right, well, I don't want to just, like, get completely bogged down in this. But at the same time, I don't want to just ignore all of it, too. Because I feel like this is a very big part of the game, is getting, like, the news and all this stuff. So we'll try to take it slow, bit by bit. Um... So we'll check a couple things, and then we'll move on to another thing down the road, and we won't just, like, bury ourselves in the, like, entire episodes of this, because there's going to be enough cinematic and storyline that's going to be played throughout the game, I'm assuming, anyway. There's a community forum, okay. Alright, what do we have? Welcome to the community forum. Join us and relax in our forums. Please read the forum rules before posting. What is Apkalu? Apkalu. I don't know what Apkalu is. Welcome to the graphic bulletin board. Let's enjoy the day drawing while relaxing. Please check the rules and regulations before uploading any images. Okay. What is Apkalu? Apkalu is a special forum created for uploading and showing off your drawings to other members. Apkalu is a name of a new Babylonian or new Assyrian mythology or something like that. I... I don't have the details. Does anyone know? Congrats! The word on the street is that one of our frequent posters, Shuju, is going pro. Congratulations, I'm adding your name to our list. But if you have any problems with that, please let me know. Professional Hapkalu members. Basilico, now designing Crimson v, uh, VS, I guess. Smoto, working in the animation industry. And Shuju, waiting for confirmation. Weird? Interesting? Strange? No subject. General. Masaru. Uh, Masaru. No subject. Hello! My name... My name Masaru from Kyoto. I'm student. Check him out. He looks cool. I like it. Right now I study English, so I log in to US server. US server, I know. I enjoy make many American friends. I am grateful for your bulletin board. Thank you for having me. There you go, guys and gals. A little bit of artwork. Oh, we can download the wa wallpaper. Huh. Neat. I'm not sure what we're going to use that for, but it's there. We have Machi. I am um, very nice guy. Walnuts cracked open, Rodriguez? What? Uh, eep. I'm scared. Oh, but it's, it's kind of cool. No, wait. Definitely scary. Wow. They even have bad forms, just like real life. Sorry. Alright, that's enough of that. Next. There's the world. Uh, the existence of the PK system. Where I can... Where can I get Ulm Shell? Epitaph of Twilight. Epitaph... I miss R1. Existence of the PK system. I'm going to talk a bit about PKs. The PK system was around since the days of Fragment, and until it was abolished in the middle days of the World R1, it was a system that made the world really unique. When the PKs were abolished, the players held protests at each of the root towns, and fan sites demanded that PKs be brought back. Now for the World R2, the PK system has been brought back. It has its pros and cons, but players generally welcomed it when it first started. But lately, there have been a growing number of people who call for it to be abolished again in the outside world, too. People are talking a lot about whether it's morally correct to have a game where people kill each other. So, considering all these things, I have a question. Does the world really need PKs? Please give me your detailed answers. Thank you. Uh, I agree, disagree, only a game, my two cents, I disagree. Uh, I'm going to say caution. The purpose of this thread is to is not to criticize PK. Please don't flame or troll. Thank you. Oops. Sorry. Agree as a system. I think the world definitely needs PKs, though I personally hate PK. In network games with no PK, you have no choice but to accept getting cheated or swindled by other players. But in the world, there's the PK system. If you use your brain, you can use the PK system to protect yourself. So just from a self-defense point of view, the PK system is necessary. That's basically my opinion. Thanks, Tenji. Alright, disagree. I'm against the current PK system. I won't say that the system itself is bad, however... I just scroll past it. However, I can't disagree with a system that blames the victims and say that if you don't want to get PK'd, you should do PKing first. That is sort of silly, isn't it? 
For example, they could make some servers where PKing is allowed and others where it's forbidden, or make it so you can turn PKing on or off. If it's off, you can't PK someone and you can't be PK'd either. I wish CC Corp would think of a way to separate the people that want it and the people that don't. Only a game, Renji. I personally think either way is fine. Even if you do get PK'd, it's not that big of a deal as it's within the game, so maybe you'll lose some experience and the time you spent to get those points, at worst you may lose some items too, that's all. So do you really have to talk about who got PK'd and who did the PK? Naturally, if your dear, dear character is PK'd, it's going to upset you, but it's just a game, right? I'm not saying you should enjoy getting PK'd, but maybe just take it a little bit more lightly. Uh, it's not an issue. Uh, it's not an issue of it. Of is it necessary or is it not? Is it? That's a part of the game. The real winners are the ones that have fun. It's fair. My two cents. I'm all for the PK system. I started playing the world because I had a PK, because it had a PK system, which is something that I wanted to experience. Although my fear of retaliation prevents me from PKing anyone. For someone who wants to play a game with a PK system such as myself, it is absolutely necessary to have one. But, to be honest, I don't really care if the world has it or not. I'll go to whatever game has the best PK system. Lastly, I want to add a personal comment to all you people who say that you hate PKing but still play the world, which is a game whose main selling point is the PK system. I just want to say go play another game. I'm begging you. And finally, Patola Lomila Hamalomila is going to disagree. I want to talk about the World R2. It's a mistake to have the PK system apply for the entire game. They say that the arena was created to calm down the whole PK controversy, but I think it's done the opposite. I think they should have made it so the PK system applied only to the arena and left the rest of the game PK free. People that don't want to get involved in PK can stay away from the arena, and the people who do want to PK can go there. That way both types of peoples would have been happy. It's the same thing for the troubles between the guilds instead of killing each other in arenas whenever there's a dispute it would be way better if they could just solve it fairly in the oh in areas right uh instead of killing each other in areas wherever there's a dispute it would be better if they could just solve it fairly in the arena that's the way it should have been handled i think the current pk problem was born from the fact that the world is borderless but it's not too late to fix things so i think they should consider reworking of the entire system so, I guess I have to say I'm against the current PK system. You know, I have, to, I have to give them credit. That's all, those are all very, like, valid points and things in games that do have a PK system. Like, that's just fair play. Fair play to you guys. And I'm not sure how prevalent, like, MMOs at the time were. Like, the concept and the idea was great, and there were a few of them, but I think there were anyway. Maybe I'm going crazy. Maybe my timeline's off. But, yeah, no, it's, it's it's interesting, to say the least. Alright, Crimson V... What is this? So, VS system files load 263 plugins, unable to access, currently not in service. There's a movie player, there's accessories. Oh, accessories? What is this? Background? Oh. Yeah, nice to meet you. Boom! What? Make a wish. Alright, that's a little bit creepy, but we'll, we'll, we'll take it. Alright, anyway, we're going to go back into the world. That's the whole point, right, guys? I'm sorry I decided to play in menus for a very large portion of that, but we're here. We're, we're back in the world. Uh, we can either go to the official site, the official forums, or log in. We're logging in. Alright. Back to Delta Eternal City Mac Anu. Are we going to be back at square one? I bet we are. Yup. Yeah. What's going on? Why is my equipment different? Shouldn't you have remembered that you started this way? I feel like you what should the... have. Uh, yeah, eight months of work undone, buddy. One? What about my items? I think, you know, list. I think you know the answer to all that. My equipment! This is why it pays <laughs> to have a good memory. Gone. It's all gone. My whole character has been completely reformatted. Yep. Uh -oh. Hey, did you see that guy just now? 
with the really weird arm. <laughs> totally. Arm? <laughs> oh, that guy. Ovan? He would know something about this. Don't, don't make him tell you welcome to the world again. Map navigation. Sometimes your next destination is indicated on the map by a cursor. Click the select button to view the map. I love that there's like things moving around. Hello. It's Schrodinger. I thought all the urban legend fuss had died down, but it seems like it's picking back up. You know about the Schrodinger's or about Schrodinger's cat? It's a theory that says that until you confirm every event for yourself, everything is a possibility. Well, let's uh, let's get to stuff. Oh, just tells us to go straight ahead, basically. Oh, well, let's go straight ahead, I guess. Hey, do you know what that guy's job was? I don't think I've seen a design like that. I didn't look that closely. I saw him head towards the harbor. Maybe I'll go get a closer look. Maybe. Chase him down. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Not sure what I did, but I, I'm sure I deserve your thanks. So, let's get stuff. Ooh, what's this? That is nothing. That is a nothing. Hey, yeah, it's me, Ambo Ed. No, it's fine. Oh, looks like there's a house or something over to the right. That's interesting. Oh my god, that player looks really hot! Uh, really? <laughs> I thought he looked kind of creepy. So, you like guys that look like that? Where'd he go? Stop standing there staring uh, at him. I think he went down that alley. So he keeps running. Like, can't you just, like, keep up with him? Like, oh, look! There he is! Oh, and then he just slows down to nothing. Like, what? Uh, I've got to find Ovan. He might be in town. I said he went down an alley. I feel like... Where is there an alley? I know I can check my map at any point, guys and gals. I am aware. I am aware. Out there. Hi there. It's like he gets there, he's like, oh, look, there he is. Let me stand until he's out of view. And then, like, it's just, it's weird. It's a little weird. We don't need no stairs. We'll run up the ramp. Work out those quads. It's fine. Damn. It's those player killers. Yeah, huh. you should probably. It's not much of a challenge when they're so pathetically weak. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> Fighting those noobs is making us all rusty. That rogue that we fought the last time? He really wasn't that bad. Um, you mean we're going after him next? That'll be easy. Hell yeah. Uh-oh. There is no way in hell. I can back down after what happened last time. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Well, I don't think you should go Wait, and play. What the hell am I hiding for? Uh, you're level one. Why do I have to hide from bastards like them? It's pathetic. You're level one, probably is why. It's just my guess. You're oh. kidding. I'm not kidding. What the hell's going on? Hey, look, another rogue type person. Rut row roar. What Are the? Are you okay? Oh, huh? What happened? What? What? Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Hey, are you a new player? You're a noob. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. I guess I must have scared you, huh? Still are. Hell no, I'm not a noob. I'm the terror of death. Terror of. What? What? Wait, are, are you talking about the famous PKK Haseo? Oh, you're a player killer killer! Yeah, we I are. I knew I'd heard about him somewhere before. But I'm pretty sure the player's name was Haseyo. 
Are you sure? Definitely. Yep. Hey, uh -huh. look. It's me. I'm the real PKK Haseo. <laughs> this guy. He's got a tail. That's weird. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you'll have to gain more levels before you can say anything like that. What? Hey. If you're a noob, we'll be happy to teach you the basics of this game. Actually, <laughs> Syllabus and I are part of the Noob Support Guild called Canard. Canard. Noob Support Guild? It's a guild that teaches noobs all they need to know to become top players. Uh -huh. We're actually pretty famous, you know. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. I need to give you our member addresses first. Here. Sure. Hey, Syllabus is member address. And Gaspards. Member Sweet. addresses are an address system. Oh, man. Just for communicating it's just with your my luck to get world. mixed up with when a bunch of weirdos. Party, check their status I even lost sight of Ovan. Anyway, right now, I've got to level back up to become the terror of death. Yeah, you do. Well, I guess I'll just hang out with them for a little while longer. Let's do it, eh? Huh? Look, it doesn't mean that they'll join just because you invite them to. Um, were you listening to me? Totally. Yeah, I was listening. You were? Really? really? Yes, uh -huh. really. Anyway, come on. You're gonna teach me the basics, right? So hurry up and let's move on to the next lesson. Yeah, there you okay, go. Okay, then let's go to an area. Sweet area yeah. battle, murder, Invite death, us kill. into your party, and we'll go find the chaos gate. Yeah, chaos gate, syllabus and gas. Oh, I didn't even invite that. Just so I just need to head to the chaos gate. I can get there faster if I use the warp point. There should be one around here. Yeah, there should be. I bet it's something similar to that, directly in line of my my camera and view and everything else. Okay, what, what are we? Yeah. Okay. Dome. Save shop and cascade used for travel to other areas. And yeah, sure. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? That is going to do it for this particular episode. So, despite me cutting short some of my exploratory things on the uh, OS of the game, we'll say. Um, yeah, it looks like we are still a little bit... Uh, well, we didn't get to any action. Got to run around a bit more story, but this again. This is the chaos gate. If you input three different types of words into... I know that. Okay, well then. A good area for a noob is... Please don't say it. Delta Peaceful Leading Freedom. That should be a good place to start. Sounds like a plan. Delta Peaceful Leading Freedom. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we didn't get to actually accomplish any fighting or anything else. But again, this game is steeped in story, and it's all about the tale and the journey and the adventure. So hopefully you guys are cool with it. I'm going to go talk to this guy. I'm going to save at him, and in the next episode, we are going to actually go to an area and do some battle. Some murder, death, killing. What level are our boys? Do we see them in our party? We do. They're level 4 and level 3. Oh, that's cool. Alright, folks, that's going to do it for this episode. I will see you tomorrow with more... Dot hack GU last recode. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquigums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.